find that the students become advocates to other students who maybe haven't? They do. They develop their own families. They, one of the things we do the first day of class when they come on Tuesdays or Thursdays, it is look for someone in the class who you think you have a connection with after they introduce themselves and they take five phone numbers. Okay? And throughout the semester, either they'll call each other up, they'll text each other, or they'll email each other. Oh, I missed class. What did the teacher say? What did Dr. Cruz say? Can you give me, there are some of them texting if they're absent, texting the classmate. Can you get the handout she's distributing today? And it's, it's, it's great. And then you see them outside the classroom in the tutoring center and the reading and writing center helping each other with the assignments. So they become a family. And you know, I wasn't like that when I went to college. That was not my experience. Right. We were all just came in and left. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so my my classroom was very different to what I went through. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that it's working for yeah, them. Yeah, no, it totally works. Yeah. yeah, I know I went into one of the orientations, they're like, oh wow, this person's here. So if I need help, I can get it. And I said, wait. <laughs> okay, let's you can, and I'm here to help you, but I'll tell you that first thing we're gonna look at is your transcript. So that's how you can help yourself. And then you have a problem, I'll tell you everybody's gonna listen right, to you. Right. But if you don't, yeah, mm -hmm. that's your responsibility. That's great. It's really, really good. Because I think um, you, you've made it you've made it simple enough for them to to participate and also made them uh, aware of I'm right here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end up being here, and ultimately, I'll graduate. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes that pathway is yeah. they come in and they don't know where. Where do I start? Absolutely. And where am I gonna end up? And how long is it gonna take me to get there? Um, and once they figure out the tools that they need, they can utilize yeah. those. Tools. And there's tools already set up. For them. It's already so, there. Yeah. I mean, part of what what Seth is doing, exploring to the world, is part of you know, like you may not know how to get somewhere because you don't know where it is. So that, that exposure to the larger world is also exposure to careers, to education, and so forth, and it really makes a big difference. And it shows that you all, between the faculty and the staff, mm -hmm. that you're all on the same page. Absolutely. And so um, the student's not gonna have an issue with, oh, I talked to this person, and they don't know about it, and then I talked to this person, and they only know part of it. Everybody's on the same page, so like you said, you're gonna hear that same narrative yeah. everywhere you go. And it shows that the school's unified and helping them. Adjust. And it stays with them, it stays with them. Years ago, uh, at a lower lap, at the really lowest class, I had a young man, his name was Sergio. Then he went up to the next level with me, he did the hybrid class. Actually, I wrote about him, my, my dissertation is about that class. Mm. And I wrote about his, his views. And then he took the third level with me. About a year ago, I went to my HML pharmacy, and he was one of the pharmacy assistants dispensing wow. the medicines back yeah, there. Yeah. And I go, that is the same kid who told me he didn't like to read. But he read uh, Breaking Through by Francisco yeah. Jimenez from Santa Clara University, a migrant, illegal migrant who's made a name for himself, and that was his inspiration. This is kind of like, have you ever had a Cuban sandwich that's so good, yes. and all this juicy meat inside of it? So the juicy meat is instruction, but if you don't have the bread so that you can actually eat it, right. and the bread is student services, yeah. then you can't do it. Can actually taste how good that is. Yeah, and the collaboration is it's huge. It's huge, and like I said, that keeps everybody on the same page and lets the students know that everywhere I go, everybody wants me to be successful. Right. So that's. And we talked about some things. And some things aren't about more money. They really aren't. Right. Maybe you did a little bit of money, but it takes just a little bit of money. It's more about designing what you have so that it meets the needs of the students, mm -hmm. not our scheduling needs. Like, you know, so I'm gonna, I'll talk about counseling faculty, because I was a counseling faculty. No one wants to work on Fridays. Well, you know what, it's too bad. So if the job is Monday through Friday, right. and in, 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 in next year, we're gonna go to 11 month contract, so you have one, one month during the summer that you have to work, because our students are well during the summer. Mm. So it's, a, you know, we can all say, no, we don't want to do this. It's, it's really about students. students. Yeah. So again, we're, thank you for your time, thank you for coming. Thank I have some business cards here. Yes. So. Let us know if you want to uh, come to your uh, college at percent. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Or we can have a Skype conference here. <laughs>